Today is Tuesday the 4th of Jan and we'll take a look at cryptocurrencies. We're going to start with Bitcoin, uh, drill down into the different time frames, show the technical formations that we're looking at uh, across that and then drill down, then also go to Ethereum, Ripple and Cardano. So uh, let, let's start with um, Bitcoin. Uh, the weekly chart on Bitcoin is quite interesting. Over the last month, we've seen prices range between 52,000 and 45,500. Um, and really sort of a little bit under pressure. We're trading towards the downside of that. We've traded, we flirted with the 45,500 low, going down to uh, 45,700 already this week. Uh, so a little bit of price pressure at the start of the week after last week's almost uh, bearish engulfing candle, not quite, uh, but it did um, completely recapture the previous week of the 20, uh, 20th of December gains. So the, the real formation I'm looking at is a potential head and shoulders formation. This brings the neckline in, which is the red line here. That brings in support at um, around about 43,300. Really need a break of that um, supportive area to uh, confirm the formation. Until then, it's just a potential head and shoulders formation. Uh, a break of there should open up the downside and potentially bring in a retest of the 28,800 level, which we haven't seen since the middle of last year. So that's looking a little bit negative. On the daily chart, we can see uh, the price action a bit clearer. Um, we've got this uh, neckline coming in um, just around here, around about 43,500. Uh, the, we have a longer term upward trending support line also uh, coming in at the 40,000 level. So be aware of that. And there's the uh, measured move target of that uh, head and shoulders formation would be a move down towards the 17,000 area. Long way to go for that though. So on the Ethereum, we've seen price action um, it's been supported by the previous downward trending resistance line that now turns into support and we can see a higher low has been posted last week. Uh, price actually still under a little bit of pressure trading at 3767 um, getting uh, some levels really close to the 100 day moving average in the previous um, uh, quite uh, key resistance at 4025. Um, that's probably where we expect um, gains to be capped at the moment. Uh, so we've got a lower high, we've got a lower low um, coming in at around about 3,600. They're the real levels to watch uh, moving forward in Ethereum. The daily chart on Ripple, it's quite similar price action. Uh, the 100 day moving average coming in just above the, the $1 level. Um, support, we can see that we have got support, a bit more recent support coming in around about 75. Resistance, uh, prices seem to be capped at the moment at 86 and a half. Um, and above that, we've got also 91.50 as a resistance level. Cardano itself has uh, seemed to pull it, well, it did pull away from the 120 support level. We managed to ca capture ground above 150, got to just short of 160. Uh, and then we had a bit of a turnaround shooting star formed um, the 27th of December. Bearish outside, uh, bearish engulfing candle the following day. And, uh, and since then, price action has been under pressure. 128.20 holding at the moment. But again, looks like we could be in for a little bit of a rough ride. Uh, 100 day moving average way above uh, and hasn't been touched. But we can see the, the MACD, uh, the, the positive momentum stalling, looking like we're going to get a crossover to the downside. So that should bring this supportive uh, trend line into question once again. Okay, thanks for joining me and look forward to speaking to you again next week.